I had no idea what this was. This leg of this trip, I had been booked into Montreal for a year, but this happened because Mr. Gorbachev was supposed to be here and he was ill. And uh, so I was headed, I said, okay, I'll do it. Because I, 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 then when I got here, I couldn't believe what this was. I knew it was, a, I knew it was children, I knew it was some sort of gathering. Larry King had never even heard of We Day before Wednesday's appearance in Calgary. But now the man who has interviewed thousands on radio and TV says he's amazed at what he saw at We Day. He calls the Kielberger brothers unbelievable. Larry King has conducted more than 50,000 interviews. He sat down with the Herald and CTV Calgary, this time as the interviewee. Well, I'm doing a show on the internet every day with Carlos Slim and I. Carlos financed it. We have a network. It's called Aura, and we're distributed on Hulu, and I do a lot of stuff for YouTube, and I do a lot of speaking. I stay active. I couldn't retire. I stay involved. I like people. My curiosity never wanes. I'm always wondering about what people are thinking, and but that's the way I, you know, my motto when I was an inter when I interview is uh, that I never learned anything when I was talking. So it forced me to listen, and I don't use the word I when I interview people, I just want to learn. I notice about children, my children will give you, uh, you got a dollar, you need it, they'll give it to you. You know, they're not, more children today share, maybe that's a quality of education, the quality that they get so much information. They see poverty, you know, they, they don't look, they may have a lot of money themselves, but they don't have blinders. They know there are poor kids. They know the kids that don't have. I, I do a lot of uh, graduations. And uh, so those are 18 year olds, high school, and a lot of college. I've gotten honorary degrees and stuff. I still tell funny stories. But I relate to it. I tell, so for example, uh, if I were speaking, if this were speech today, this was a Q&A. For speech, I would tell the story of what happened to me when I was 14 years old. Uh, funny stories that they could relate to. You have to relate it to the audience. The two best commencement speeches I have ever heard. One was delivered by Ted Turner. It was a minute and a half. He got up at Brown University and said, nobody will ever remember what was said here today because you can't wait to get out of here. You graduate. So here's my speech. See this? I stayed out in the sun too much, and this is a precancerous knoll, and I'm going to leave here in five minutes, and this is going to be removed. My speech is, stay out of the sun. I said, uh, I guarantee you they'll remember that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the other was Mario Cuomo at Holy Cross University, and I said to him, what are you going to say? He said, oh, watch. He said, when all the kids are sitting in front, the parents are in the back. And he said, uh, look, you kids are not going to remember this, so do me, do me a favor, indulge me. Turn around, look at your parents. I'm going to talk to your parents. <laughs> and then he never looked at them again. He looked beyond them, back to the back, all the parents, and he said, uh, these kids are graduating a great school. Now I'm going to give you some advice. Let them go. Let them go. You've harbored them. You've educated them. Some of them may want to take some time off, let them. Some of them don't know what they want to be, let them. Well, then he said at the end, now I want you kids, thank your parents, <laughs> applaud your parents. The kids that don't give a standing ovation to their parents. Well, that was a brilliant, so those are two things that both those kids will remember mm -hmm. forever. But when you get some of these speeches with, carry on in greatness and remember <laughs> that the soul is funny. <laughs> It's just boring. Only, so know your audience. So when I get up at, at a graduation, I tell, look, uh, I got an honorary degree from Columbia University, School of Medicine. And I get up and said, I just made it through high school and I went to college. If my mother is looking down now, she's got to be doing it. He's, he's a doctor. <laughs> so create some humor, you know. The work I do is not hard, so you have to fly there, and it, but speaking, getting up in front of an audience or asking questions or doing a television show, 
always came easily to me. So for 55 years, I've never used the word work. I don't really go to work. You know, I go to TV, I go to sit here with you, I make an appearance. You know, if you drive a bus on Madison Avenue in New York, you're working much harder than me.